saw that blood off before people start asking questions. I'll park it up inside. Got something here for you. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. Here you go. So long. Time to go, boy.
Okay, there. la concentración. There we go. Hold up. Who is it? It's me, Arthur. Good to see you back, Arthur. Sugar pie. <laughs> Hi, Karen. What? Hey. Arthur? You gonna get out there and make some money? Now that ain't nice, Morgan. You're a real charmer, ain't you? Just the merry dance of the sexes. Creep.
Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. Uncle Arthur Morgan. Hey, all right, Arthur. Leave some drink for the rest of us. Cheers to you, too, English. Hello, gentlemen. Well, how are you? Hi, Thur. You're looking good. Thank you. It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. Feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Go, go. You see that deer? Any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Can you show me where, Uncle Arthur? First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. 
Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. I see. I see. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. those red flowers. I'll be right back. Well, let's try again. There we go. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Oh, this one's a red fin pickerel. Not bad. Uncle Arthur. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. There, got him. Is it a big one? What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. 
Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Day. No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Okay, Are fella. you taking me back? Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. this necklace. Ain't that pretty. Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. 
Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Sorry, Dutch. All right. Out there. How did we end up over this way? Huh? Hi, Mary Beth. How's it going? Listen, uh, Not good. Dutch, <clears throat> can I talk to you a minute? What is it? I think you misunderstood me earlier. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. What are, are you, you trying doing? to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. Um, hello, Arthur. I'll think about it. Thank you. You're... I'll do whatever you say. Always. What are you trying to pull here? Nothing. I'm trying to help. <sighs> right you are. Hi, Dutch. Hey, Arthur. You good? Just can't seem to get a moment's peace. Well, I'll leave you to it. Fine. Got sick and died. My ma got sick and died. Sadie. There she is. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Good. We really needed this. Now this, I can work with. Horses. 
How you doing? I've been better. It can only get better. father had welts all down his back. He was raised a slave. He taught all the kids how to read. A good old-fashioned house nigga, they call him. But he was beaten just the same. Now, he wasn't uh, the, the master of the house, who my father loved, in a way. But his brother, who my father hated with an all passion. He, he, he beat the slaves almost nightly. Whip them. One night, my father was getting a whooping for the crime of being born by this horrible bastard when his sister-in-law, the, the master's wife, walks in. Now, fearing for my father's life, she told her brother-in-law to stop. Well, not only did he not stop, he beat her too. Next day, his brother, the master, shot him dead. The whole plantation cheated. The master gave my father his dead brother's watch and told him as he did so. Tom, we'll catch you up want another drink? Right sure. A year later, <laughs> he set them free and hanged himself You're good the next night. And yours? My father gave me that watch. <laughs> you know. Beautiful. Big You're okay <sighs> for a greaser. And now, well, you know, I've gone and lost it. You're for the okay black for an asshole. When I get some spare money, <laughs> I'm going to buy myself another one. To honor both my father <laughs> and the folks that saved his life. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, oh. You fellas, man. You fellas. I, I love you fellas. I do. It makes my heart warm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, what what is your story anyway, Micah? I told you. I guess I missed it. You'll have to listen closer next time. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Hey, Lenny. Good oh, Lord. Me too. My eyes are closing. <laughs> <laughs>